Well, we're back. This is times times three, and uh, it's a beautiful day in January. Can you believe that? Harry's just wearing a shirt, and Don's not I'm freezing bundled up. And everybody's walking around. You don't even have a t-shirt. You didn't have a t-shirt. No, like that. I got a jacket. A I tell you, it's winter in West Hollywood, and we're loving it. You know, 79 oh, degrees. Look who's look who just came here. Beautiful blue sky. Beautiful blue blue sky. Wow. Do we have a visitor arriving over my shoulder? I yeah, can't see them. Yeah, maybe in Pearl Kaufman just a uh Oh, maybe is my wife from. Is well, is your wife. we're in trouble now. We're going to have our so show found out where we're hanging out. interrupted. It's a shining yeah. light, and you know it, and you're a lucky man. Yeah. And she's a lucky woman. So, what's happening with these uh, Academy screeners? Uh, Why, what do you mean, what happened? What, what, well, have you been still getting them? God, I, I must I have. Getting them. I've probably gotten about 80 so far. I think I'm at 80. Uh, I got one today. Which one? Um, the zoo one. Yeah, but they don't know what you're talking about when, when you say that. that uh, oh, the, the rest of the world? Yeah. Sure they do. I mean, uh, uh, Academy screeners. The studios send out uh, the movies for uh, the Academy members to vote on. For your consideration. Your consideration only. Well, here's the one thing which I wish that SAG wouldn't do. They ought to look at all the schedule, or the people who are in the Academy, and do not send screeners to those Academy members, because I get dupes. Oh, I, that's the know, problem, yeah, you yeah, get double uh, stubble here's duty. Here's another thing, a friend of mine, he's a retired principal, he was living in Thailand. He'd be watching TV in Thailand, and he was there for years, and at the bottom he'd see a movie, it'd say, for your consideration. <laughs> they get movies, they put them on Thai, Thailand TV. Yeah, actually, before the screener sent out to to us, they have it in Thailand. And they're selling <laughs> it's it on, on TV. Streets, right? yeah, I know, in Russia too, jazz, they sell jazz, see, CDs, great jazz for a dollar, two dollars. Yeah. Well, in China, we remember we used to think we'd get all these CD or all these DVD residuals, but we haven't gotten a penny from China because it's all piracy. Right? Oh, well, well, of we're, course, we're yeah. Gonna, we're going to get it now because uh, we we, we got to get got to hustle up some money. We got to stop this foolishness. Tax. They have to we're tax always us. so rich, so prosperous, <coughs> so strong. What well, happened? Well, they'll pay us in yuan and then they'll devalue it. So it's not worth anything anyway. What happened? What happened? We got into debt. People started, it's like California, they got all these bonds for the future, and they don't think about how much money we're going to have there, and then they start getting in debt. And then the credit cards, and then the U.S. goes in debt. Credit card. I remember I wrote for the first Playboy magazine. I have a joke that I just did mention it to you. You left there maybe two, three days earlier. I remember I was working at the nightclub. And uh, credit cards are very new. And I said, a guy ran up a bill, $2,000 on his the Diners Club, and charged it to his American Express. And people scream, like, who would ever think of doing a thing like that? And now, society lives like that. Yeah, it's called they the buy, balance they, transfer. They, they, they buy one card, transfer to another card, transfer to another card, transfer to another card. The banks promote it. They say, transfer your balance to our balance, our and some credit of them, card. Then they go uh, bankrupt, right? Yeah. Uh, remember there was a famous director, I don't know who it was, De Sica? He was on uh, one Vittorio of those big De Sica, yeah. in uh, front of a big casino in Monte Carlo. And the guy comes along and... The Sika's laughing. The guy said, "What are you laughing?" He says, "I'm laughing because I got terminal cancer and I know that I owe that casino eighty thousand dollars. They're never going to collect." And that made him happy. That made him happy. That's a good exchange. Yeah, gallows humor, right? <laughs> it's a very, very good for frame of mind that man. Is I it? got two laughs out of my heart doctor today and her assistant. What'd the you first say? one, the guy says, "You know, he took my pulse and all this." He said, "So far, so good." So I told him, "I said, remember that movie, Steve McQueen." said that a guy jumps out of the eight-store building and at each floor they hear him say, so far, so good. And he got a laugh. And then my Dr. Choi comes in and she checks me out and she says, you're looking good. And I says, I live to die another day. And she laughed. Yeah, well, that's uh, medical humor. Yeah. yeah, of course, they're in the business of that, aren't they? De you know, death I and dying. I live to you know. die another day. You know, that's actually all we do live for. Sure. When you think about it, yeah. you another day. Day by day. You live for the croissant. Yeah, but they see, I, you, don't, you don't put a croissant in a microwave. It <laughs> well, look kind of charred a little bit. They didn't no. grill it. Look the like the croissants have to be baked. Baked. To per a certain level where they're crispy and, you know. Flaky. And and here, they, even at the airport, when I saw croissant, I love croissants. And I, course, I, and I threw it in the mug and then it gets like soggy and soft and yeah. like rubber. Yeah, it turns into glue. Rubber for someone, it should be 
snappy and crisp and delicate. Warm. I could never eat those croissant sandwiches. It's a little too Well, you're rich. a Midwestern guy. No, you, I like you, croissants. You gotta have white I mean bread. the sandwich. Oh, there's whole a lot wheat. of butter. Whole yeah. Wheat. Whole wheat. Whole wheat. No, whole that's wheat. too sophisticated for the Pretty sophisticated. No, Midwest whole wheat. You know, it's you know salt of the earth. You know. Why is whole wheat bread uh, better for you than white bread? Because oh, my wife. It's not so. processed, and, and it has all the That's bran on. What it. is processed? What what is what is the process of processing and making something processed? Oh, look well, at me, I'm processed. They, they call me white bread. White bread. Well, they they <laughs> they take the husk off. So That's this what it is. is it. So yes, why do they call them white bread? And processed, processed makes the bread white. What, exactly. what color is wheat when it comes out of the stalk? Here? Well, it's not white. It's uh, it's like brownish. Brown, it? yeah, and they bleach it. They bleach it with real bleach. Yes. Oh, that that must that's terrible. So You're that, right. That, that's what that's why they say it's so bad. Right? Yeah. Oh, we, we we had a Wonder Bread factory in the Bronx in my house. Yeah, lots of bleach there. And we used to go down early in the morning, like three o'clock in the morning, before we, and just smell that oh. factory. Oh, it smells good. What smells better than freshly baked bread? Nothing. Yeah. A woman out of the shower. <laughs> sex. I'm sorry. Man I had is to laugh. Obsessed with sex. <laughs> you gotta start tapering down. You know. Well, I think it's all these movies he made. I don't yeah. know what it is, but no, you know what it is. I think I know what it is. He's a good boy. He gave patriotic speeches in school. You know, he's a valedictorian. He's brother's an FBI guy. Don't say I was a valedictorian. I'll start believing I was. You were, weren't you? I got good A's. So, you see what No, you got A's. No, I mean, now there's you, good A's or A's. Stop the guy. I forgot why I brought this up. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, oh, yeah, why do they call them white bread? Why do they call them, Why did they call white bread? Because they're dull people in the Midwest? No. I don't think they're dull people. No. Bland. Well, bland or... or um, Not the Italian lover. Yeah, there, there's no ethnicity that's, a, that's obvious. They're like fried chicken. I mean, in the, the Western... Midwest are full of Western European stock, yeah, you know. Yeah, but they get carried up when they play those country songs and they jump around. They, they have dancing clubs that come aboard the cruise ships when I was... Swing dancing, ships. yeah. And they're, they're in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, these people. Oh, yeah. And they come as a club, maybe 70 to 100 of them, and they all have little outfits every day. They wear little... No, puffy Western, outfits. Western outfits, they, yeah. and, and they dance. And they don't go to the ports. Shit they, don't, they don't go to the beaches. No. They just dance all day long and all night long. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. If you if you don't mind speaking of dance. Oh, you're gonna read a poem for us. Would you please us. read? Would you mind? All right. Now, Very north. Now, the, the, the is about word, to read a poem. The, the actual words I, 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 I heard was Don. If, if you want, ask me to read a poem. I'll read a poem. But so I, I must somewhere along this journey, I must have asked him to read a poem. I think you did. But it, the show it, hadn't started yet. It was I'll last read this week. Poem for, uh, that, that's that's a brand new book. I mean, great. you haven't even cracked the cover this on is that. This red snow, snow fins. I'll read this book for Don and. David and Mabin and Judy. It's called Harvest, since you were talking about the Midwest. Harvest. Bless you for this heart in your hands. Bless you for anguish, solitude, camaraderie. Bless you for intermittent light. Bless you for the golden diamond encrusted cross. Bless for the breath of water, the tongue of cat, the blue waterfalls. Bless for the changing and healing emotions. Bless you for the locked door, the closed door, the open door. Bless you for brother, sister, wife, and son. Bless you for the long, quiet path. Bless you for the shadow of the door. Bless denial and acceptance, window and seeking. Bless the hand that holds words. Bless nature with its eye. Bless claw and tummy, turning and resting. Bless lostness and the light about with its birds. Bless foot and eagle and crow. Bless hiding place, night and hunt. Bless holding high religious symbols, apple and hat, heart and sadness, and the golden chariot with its smoke. Bless outward and coming home. Bless Jeremiah, Isaiah, Micah, and Mark Twain. Bless that one emerald faraway eye. Bless terror and wings and fall. Bless bed and wife, cat and door. Bless Amarillo and bless Santa Monica Bay. Bless the mundane and the clusters of sunflowers. Bless the re vertical revolving sash and the white cow of heaven. 
Thank you, Don. Oh, sh show us the cover of your book, yes. Harry. We, we got to know which book this came from. Red you, Snow Fence by Harry E. Northup. Harry, I'm blessing. You, who are you blessing? I'm blessing all those things I mentioned in the book. So you're, you're the blessing, good and the bad. You're not blessing God for doing those things? You're just blessing the things? Well, I, I mentioned, I mean, those are all the manifestation they of will, God. They will, they I said, will, Jeremiah. I bless you for the anguish. Who needs the anguish? It's all. Even in God, you know what God says? Even the Why banal. should I bless a guy for giving me anguish? We have to, because I, it's part I, I, of life. I, I, it's part of life. So you well, got a blessing, bless the why anguish? Not? Every night when I go to bed, the first line in my prayer, I say, thank you, God, for this life. It's love, it's sorrow, and it's joy. It's part of life, right? Well, well that's true. I mean, you, you don't know how good you've got it until you've had a little problem. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't encourage anguish that much. <laughs> no, but you know, well, if I were you, we I'd get humble you. though. We have to yeah. because it's yeah. part of life. Well, that's Even true. God accepts no, but the don't banal. encourage it. You encourage it, it'll come back. No, again. You have to say you, you have know. to bless everything. You got to be very distinct. Even in the Buddhist nature, they even say a cockroach is sacred. So don't ever wear those Puerto Rican pointed shoes that you step on the cockroaches in the corner. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Corner winkers. You just had to knock the Puerto Rican. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, you, lost, you know what they used to call those in England? We lost the whole race because the pointy shoes. Said, no, you I saw, love victims. All you see no. is Puerto Ricans I'm with just their joking. pointy shoes. You, you know what they call those in England, those pointed shoes? Winkle pickers. Uh, what? Winkle pickers. Winkle pickers? Yeah, that's what they called them. You know, the pointed shoes in the of the late 50s. Yes. You know, that the, uh, the greasers would wear. I, I don't understand why, what, what, what picking winkers are. Winkles. winkles. What are the winkles? Well, it's periwinkles, you know. Periwinkles, what is that? The periwinkle is this color right here. Yeah, but it's a... Um, a little darker. It, it was a yeah. shellfish. Oh, a shellfish. You, you know, that you would uh, use a pick to get the meat out. So the, the shoes were so pointed, they thought, well, you could pick shellfish with your pointed shoes. Oh I love God. Puerto Ricans. Victor Argo, he was my friend. Love and, guilt. No, Seized Victor Argo, brain. he died at age 69. I met him, he was doing a Broadway show, and in the Tropics, and right after he got the Broadway show, he found out he had cancer, uh -oh. and it took him about four months, and he died. And I was standing on the corner of 46 and 8, in between the matinee and night, and he says, I don't care. He said, I've done everything I want to do. I wanted to work as an actor, I worked as an actor. I wanted to get laid, I got laid. I wanted to drink, I drank. I wanted to smoke, I drank. He said, I don't care. You know, he says, gonna, uh, uh, NYU spent a million dollars on my thing, but he, and unfortunately he died like four months later. Yeah. You know, at age 69. A, a million dollars on his what? To take his medical, trying to cure him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, they, people turn into projects. Yeah. You know, science experiments. If there's any reason for money, that's it. Oh, Jesus. The reason for money is to, for things like that. Well, that's right. Show yeah. me the money. Follow the money, make the money, thank the money. That's what you always do. First thing you go on the set, thank the director, thank the producer, thank the casting director. When I get through doing a movie or TV show, I always write a thank you note. Don't 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 they uh, uh, make an announcement that you're finished and you get out of course? Sometimes. Uh, Jesus, the Rocky gave me that. <laughs> The last day Don's gonna be with us. I wanna hear one. They're happy. They're happy. <laughs> He's out of here. <laughs> Thank God. Right? I got, got. Yeah, we cleaned that guy out. <laughs> they on to the next shot. Yeah. Right? I, I, I don't think there's many, many guys that were in in five sequels with less than two minutes. And don't say how much money you made off Nothing. that last one. And you then, made a whole year's and payoff. And, 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 I, and I didn't say anything. I yeah. didn't have any words. Don't mention how much I you made on just, that one. The just IRS to, will be coming after you. Just yeah, I, I think Don gets paid for the Rockies he wasn't in. <laughs> just the presence of your face that's an honor. Yeah. Really. You know, talking, I can understand that, but I feel how did I just come back just to put his face on you? Would you recognize yourself if you saw yourself in those Rockies? Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure, I don't Andy the bartender. I did recognize myself from the first one to the last one. Well, the last one, I'm glad he didn't put it in the movie because he he changed everything. You know, it's so funny because my he comes into the bar and my first line is a uh, uh, pull up a chair along the bar, or something like that. But there's no bar in this set at where we're standing. Oh, just forget about that. I've been studying the line for six oh. months and. <laughs> You know my favorite line in the movie is? What? Talia Cher. 
I'm over here, Rocky. Yeah, I'm over <laughs> here. Pay attention to me, Rocky. Well, what's the word of the day, guys? The word of the day is... Uh, uh, contentment. I was going to say completion. Isn't it the same thing? Contentment, contentment or completion? You could pick the word. Well, you, you could be contented once you've completed That's your really assignment. Right. If you complete the sex act, you're content. You're very content. Sex again. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We alienated a race of people. <laughs> We lost the religious community. Well, with that, we're going to close out and today. And an inspiring to poem that we got to bless anguish. Well, so let's great close pain, this off. We say yeah. goodbye. We say goodbye. Goodbye, gentlemen. Goodbye. Thank goodbye, you, David. David. Another Thank you, David. day from West Hollywood. Thank you, Donald. But from Marcos. Marcos in West Hollywood.